So all right everyone and welcome back. This is Farming Simulator 2013 and we're going to go and look at the tutorials in this video. Hopefully we'll get them all in here. And um, I have done most of these, but let's just go through them and let's um, look at how that is, how this works, and how this game is. So if you've never played this game, um, this is how the tutorials are like. So in order to farm, you first need to plow the fields. Okay, this is your main source of income, and your main source of in income is actually um, harvesting, planting and harvesting crops. So first is to plow, and this series of tutorials shows you all the necessary steps to work your field. We start with plowing on a small field to loosen the soil. Okay, so let's do that first. So you have a tractor here, pretty basic. You have this, which is a weight, because usually the implement back here, this is called the implement it pulls the tractor back or it makes kind of a wheelie but if you have a weight it'll keep it upright so we enter the, the tractor and attach the barrel weight and then plow so the plow is heavy so the barrel weight will make sure the tractor's wheels stay on the ground you drive onto the field and lower the plow and start working the soil and you can turn the plow okay I'll show you how to do that so, since you have two implements you can switch between them okay and I'll show you how that is. And do not drive faster than cruise control 1, otherwise your plow will detach itself. The display at the top shows your progress. Okay, perfect. So here it is. Here's the world. Um, and we're going to do this. We're going to actually see this is our weight, tractor, and plow. So let's attach everything. You press E, you get in the tractor. It tells you on the top left all your buttons. So I can kind of, with the, with the mouse, I'm just like moving the mouse around just like I would, you know, and you can switch the view to any view. You don't have to press any buttons, you're just, I'm just moving the mouse around. Um, so to attach it, I can just back up a little with the WASD key and hit Q. And now my plow is attached and it'll raise itself. Um, if I go forward a little bit, I'll press Q again. And now I have my barrel. So if I press G, see if you look at where it says zero miles per hour in the bottom right, you see I'm pressing G and it switches from the front shape to the back shape. So that means the back shape now is highlighted. I have the plow selected. If I press G again, I have the weight selected. So if I want to do stuff to the plow, I just press G, the back is selected. Now I can unfold the plow to get started. So that means the plow will start from the end of the blue area. So I got to make sure I get that set up straight. So we back up a little bit. Okay, it's fairly easy. Um, you lower the plow by pressing V. Good. And then I just press 1, which is like cruise control. And all I have to do is just watch what I'm doing. Steady the plow a little bit. Oh, you see I'm kind of going left a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I kind of have to keep it centered like that. Okay, and then once I'm to the end, press V. I'll lift it. And I wasn't too straight, as you can see, but that's okay. You can always go back and do it again and or go over it, you know, so I can do that. This is a nice and fast tractor, pretty cool. I'm just gonna go back a little bit more, and let's see here. Okay, and I'll lower it. I just wanna make sure I get the edge. And as you can see, what I'm actually doing here, this is what farmers do, they plow the field, so basically it loosens up all the soil and it creates these little ditches. I'm sure there's proper names for all this stuff, but I'm not a farmer, so I don't know them. Um, Create these little ditches, these little, you know, rows, where you can start uh, planting, you know, actual crops and seeds. So I'm gonna press one again, lower the plow, and we continue. So as you can see on the top, it's telling me how much I have done. So I'm at 16, 17, 18 percent, as you can see, and this is the first step. So it's just teaching you how to plow. It's fairly simple. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's good to practice. So that's what I would suggest, you know, by using this tutorial. I'm just going to continue here. So you kind of want to set the plow on the end there. You can always turn the plow. Um, like now I could actually turn the plow and I can actually show you how that is. You press B and you turn the plow. So actually you stay where you are and now it'll do more of the field. So that's actually what's recommended. So now if I just face this way, see now it'll get you know, big width of it. So I'll press V, and there you go. Continue plowing, and I'm not doing too well here. I left a gap. 
not the end of the world though, you can go and redo that. Okay, so as you can see I left a little bit of a gap, no problem. You just go and redo it. And what's nice is that it won't undo your progress. So let's say like, now I don't really need to line up any of the rows. Like I just go there, I press V, and it's dragging along. And it's, you know, as long as your plow is in that blank area that wasn't plowed, you're good. Like it all does it automatically for you. The rows are not, you know, perfectly set up. It, it makes it nice and simple. So I'm going to back up a little bit here, recenter myself. Okay, 36%, not bad. We're continuing now. So, you can imagine that it might get a little tiring to do this, a little monotonous, but it's kind of fun because you're working at it and, you know, it's a fun experience to do. Press V again. So I'm just going to be talking while I'm doing this. And um, what's cool is that they've improved the AI in this game now so that you can actually pay a worker to do this. So if you would have some money, you know, in your bank account, you could pay a worker, hire the worker to actually do this, and they will plow the fields for you, they will plant the crops, they will even harvest the crops for you, which means, like, picking them up and collecting them. So that's pretty cool. The thing is, it will cost you. Um, not a lot, but your money will start to drain, and if you're saving up for something, you will notice it. So I wouldn't suggest, like, if you're around $2,000 and you're plowing a big field, you're going to run out of money, um, or run out of money pretty quickly. So um, I would just caution that, you know. And we'll go into all those tips when we actually start playing the game. And, I mean, I've seen a couple of videos of people doing tutorials on this stuff, people showing you the career play. I want to make sure not to bore you so much with, like, all the harvesting and all that. So I might do it for a little bit. Then just cut the video and spend a couple hours, you know, actually um, working, you know, using the fields, uh, working the fields. And then come back, you know, when I have enough money, you know, when I have enough money to buy something. So, you, I mean, I am going to show you some harvesting, but I don't want to be here, like, harvesting the whole entire field and do 20 minutes of harvesting, you know, continuous. Because that can get a little boring. So, I'm going to make sure to edit these videos a bit. Um, so, stay with me. Um, just continue as we, you know, enjoy ourselves. We're more than three quarters of the way done right now, which is good. And as you can see, you kind of get the hang of it. You know, I was leaving gaps, um, because usually I don't have this plow in my regular world, you know, my playthrough world. I have a smaller one, so I'm used to different gaps and different tractor speeds. You know, as you get better tractors, they're faster, more efficient. They can pull heavier implements. So it gets pretty fun in that sense because you can improve and you can do more fields, get more like crops quicker, which will make you get more money and you know it kind of increases the fun play. I know some people they change this, they use um, you know some people get like nine 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 money on this. And the problem with that is you have fun for a little bit, then you get bored because then you just buy the best stuff. And then you're kind of done. You're like, okay, I have the best stuff, now what? Um, so it's kind of part of the fun in this game is like starting out with like crap, basically, and working your way up. So I'm pretty much done here. The tutorial is finished. That is how you plow fields. And I'm glad I show that to you. So that's it. That's plowing. Let's look at sowing. In terms of sowing, um, that's what they call actually planting seeds. And let's see, so we enter the tractor and attach the weight, similar to the other tutorial. Okay, so as soon as, as I'm on the field, excuse me, burped, you can lower the machine and activate it. If you do not want to use the ridge markers, you can change their positions until they're both up. The ridge markers can be annoying, but they can be helpful at the same time. So you can freely select what you want to sow, but for the purpose, we're going to sow canola, okay? Do not drive faster than cruise speed 1, otherwise the sewing machine will detach itself. Okay, so I have the same tractor. I'm going to put a weight on this. Okay, I'm going to back it up just a little bit. And there we go. Okay, so I am... Okay, canola. Good. So I'm going to press... Um, I'm going to... Well, first I'm going to lower it. So I'm going to lower it. So now it's hitting the ground. I'm going to press 1 and press B to turn the sewer on. So there we go. And the ridge markers, what they actually do, 
Like, they can be annoying, but they can be helpful at the same time. Because what they do, let me show you right now. So I finish this part. I can stop, press B there, and the ridge marker will go up by itself. So now I back up into position. And if this ridge that was made, if I drive like straight through that, then that that will make sure that I don't miss any spots, if that makes any sense. So I gotta position my tractor kind of not perfectly, but about in the middle there. So then let's see, I hit B1. Gotta make sure I lift up the ridge marker. I have it on the other side now. So that you do with Z. Um, it can be a little annoying if the wrong ridge marker comes off and you're going, you know. So, B, because you, you want to make sure, like, you can just keep the sower on the whole time. But if you're playing and you're noticing, when I'm doing this, your seed level goes down. Because obviously you're using seeds, you know. So you don't have unlimited seeds, so you have to, and that costs money. So you have to make sure that is done correctly. Okay, so we're continuing here. We're at 15%. So this is a small field. There are gigantic fields in this game. Um, so you're going to want to get better equipment with larger areas so that you can actually, you know, farm quicker. There's even this implement that you can use. Um, where you see I did plowing. Plowing and cultivating are fairly similar. I'll show you the differences, but basically you need to cultivate and or plow and then plant so if you don't do that then you know you're not going to get a good yield and you're not really going to be able to plant crops so you got to make sure you follow the steps it's very important i was going somewhere with that and i remember what i was going to say so oh well came out like that so pretty good we're at 30 percent now so the cool thing about this, I mean, it might seem like I'm just doing this over and over, but, you know, you're working, and then as you're doing this, the, the plants are already starting to grow. And you can speed up the time that you wanted the plants to grow and the crops to grow, and there's a little secret that I use. It's not really cheating, but use the game to your advantage. Use the time difference to your advantage. Because, let's say you, you plant your crops, right? And then you just leave them there for a bit. They're going to wither and you can't collect anything and make any money it's basically a waste of supplies so you don't want to leave them too far in here so that they wither and you basically wasted your time you don't want to do that so you gotta really make sure that you're efficient with planting and then after harvesting you know in the proper time so it's very 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 important so that was something that wasn't in farm simulator 2011 the idea of weathering that wasn't in the game so you just left your crops there forever and then when you know you finish and then you harvest it when you want this you have to be a little more strategic so you, you're only going to plant what you want to plant um, and when you can know that you can harvest it so if you have like 10 fields you're not going to want to sow all 10 fields because it's going gonna, it's gonna to take you time to harvest and they're going to weather by the time you finish so that's something to keep in mind okay and it's something that you want to think about so we're halfway done and hopefully get an idea of how this is going I'm just going to continue here uh, make sure because if I have that ridge marker and it disturbs what I've been seeding on the left side or what I've been sowing then it just messes up your entire thing so you don't want to do that well not your entire thing but it messes up what you did and then you won't have any crops growing there so it's a waste so you just want to be careful Okay, so we're almost at 60%, which is fantastic. And we're going to start getting into the fun stuff. Not that this is not fun stuff. Well, to tell you the truth, when I play my worlds, I don't enjoy... I kind of enjoy plowing and or um, cultivating, which are very similar. Okay. Um, I'm actually... I think I'm not going to show the cultivating in this tutorial. Just because it's basically what I'm doing. You just put a cultivator there. You know how the plow makes those rows that we made earlier? Well, instead of that, it makes it look exactly, the dirt makes it look exactly like it is on the left. You see how it is with the tiny, tiny, tiny rows? Well, it looks like that, only that it's not seeded. Or, or it's not sown. So that's the only visual difference. Um, so 
you would cultivate it and it looks like that and then when you seed it it just turns another color it turns a darker color i believe or it turns like a like a reddish peachy like a clay type color so i'm not going to show the cultivating just because it's very similar to plowing it's like the same thing and so let me explain that maybe i should explain that right now what the difference is so when you plow a field let's say everything withers like you have sections in your field that withers you want to plow that to loosen the soil not really cultivate it because um, the soil is the soil is pretty damaged so you want to do plowing now cultivating let's say i sow some seeds like i am now and then the seeds grow i harvest it i can just cultivate it and then just sow again or i can plow it too um, they're almost interchangeable but plowing is a more complete form of cultivating let's let's say that um, so that's really helpful um, and there's really no difference in, in like oh plowing is better whatever they're very interchangeable it's just like if your field is very just messed up and there's like wheat or straw everywhere and there's withered stuff you just go plow it and you kind of start from square one and with cultivating you don't really start you just like you just fairly loosen the soil up a little bit so it's not as thorough I guess you can say but you can sow after that so I hope that makes sense um, again I'm not a farmer if you want to look up the real details you can look it up on Wikipedia or something so anyway as you can see I started with a hundred percent I believe um, seeds and now we're at 90 so you can see they do go down and if I were just running the machine now, it would continue getting clocked and uh, continue wasting. So it's something to keep in mind. Okay. Um, actually, it's, I think it's a bug, but if you actually use someone to hire, your seeds amount, the amount of seeds don't actually go down. So. All right. So spring. I'm going to do spring. So let's see. We have spring. I'm going to skip cultivating here. I'm going to go directly to spring. And spring is important because it's basically fertilizing of the field and with that let's say you harvest in from what you get you know your total amount of seeds let's say it's five thousand um, well with fertilizing it multiplies it so I don't think it'll go to ten but it'll go to at least to seven you know so you'll get a large amount so this is a nice really nice fertilizer uh, machine or implement you unfold it, which is, it's huge. You unfold spray with X, and it does that automatically, which is really cool. So you have a chemical, basically, that just increases your yield, um, which is helpful. It's really helpful. So I would suggest that everyone sprays after. So you can sow and then just spray afterwards. So that's pretty good. Look how large. So this will really help for, like, big fields, and you can zoom out with the mouse wheel. So I can do that. I'm just going to press 1, and then B is to start the sprayer. So you're going to see what happens to the to the soil. You see how it turns like a darker color? That lets you know that you fertilize it. So we're going to give like two passes, and we will be good. So when you see you amount, your amount of fertilizer goes down pretty quickly. Because, I mean, it's a liquid, right? So, well, it's actually, yeah, it's a liquid. Oh, you don't want to, yeah, you don't, oh, okay. I think I got to... Oh my goodness, no. Because it's hitting the rocks. Okay. There we go. I'm just going to unfold it again. If it was hitting the rocks, it was bugging. Okay. And one more, and we are done. This is a quick one. Press B again. But again, it's a nut. I have lots of fun spraying. I don't know why. It's just fun. Um, I guess because it's fast, but it's like it turns a different color, and I know making more. I don't know. It's just fun. And that's it. We are done with this tutorial. It's very simple. Um, it doesn't take a lot of time and it's very efficient so I would do that harvesting now harvesting is important because there's three basic steps so you plow and or cultivate you sow the seeds oh I guess you spray right um, but then you harvest because what harvesting is it's just gathering the grown plants or the grown crops <laughs> whether it be corn or canola wheat barley you can also, it was added in this game, that wasn't in 2011 or 2011, um, potatoes and sugar beets. Um, so that's kind of cool. You have two different crops that were added. 
and okay so here's what you do this is your harvesting machine that's called combine and you press Q and you attach that um, and basically it's what it's very simple you lower the cutter so you press V and you see the cutter goes down to meet the ground and the crops and you press B to turn the, the spinner there and you just press 1 you can also press 2 I think 2 yeah you'll be okay with 2 and as long as your crops are centered in the black area or in the black spinning area you're gonna harvest that you can change views with C that's pretty cool too you know you can look around see what you're doing so that's cool and as you can see where does the stuff that I harvest go? Well, it goes into the back of this truck or the back of this combine. And as you can see on the top there, that black area or that, you know, dark brown, that's actual canola seeds. And you can see on the bottom right, the center, so you have the miles per hour, you have 29.26 at 32%. That's how much seed is in there. So like the area that's filled, I guess you can say. So 32% is filled. Once that gets filled, what you have to do is you have to go and empty it. And that's why I have that trailer and the tractor right there. So that's something to make sure you need to do. Because if it fills up, you can't. What you actually call this process is threshing or harvesting. So you can't thresh anymore. So I'm at 60%. I mean, 60% fullness of my machine. So I'm just going to keep going here. I'm almost half done harvesting this field, so that's kind of cool. I kind of enjoy harvesting. It's a fun process. Um, if you notice, canola does not leave anything in terms of, you know, oops. Okay, one sec here. Okay. It does not leave anything in terms of a residue in the back. You see, it's kind of like a little smoke or powder that comes out the back. You'll see it right now. There. And there's no real residue. It's just like a dust I guess um, but like with wheat you get straw and with barley you get straw also so that you can pick up later and you'll see you can pick that up with another machine um, which called it's called a baler and it'll make like squares or triangles out of that so I'm at 99% capacity and you see the canola is almost overflowing so I won't be able to thresh a lot more it'll literally be maybe a line and then it'll stop so what will happen automatically I'm threshing and you see the, th the implement goes up and it doesn't let me even if you want to keep going it won't let you so how do you empty that how do you empty that 9,000 amount of seeds I think it's pounds or I don't know what's the measurement to be honest with you if someone can help me in the comments that would be great so you press O and you get this pipe out and you position the pipe the black portion over the trailer it just empties by itself so you just wait here and you see it's kind of cool if I zoom in the canola the amount is just going down <laughs> kind of cool with the graphics there one thing I am going to talk about is the graphics and stuff in the game but I just want you to see how the game works in this tutorial so awesome we are done now completely yep so I left a little in there that's okay we won't really fill it up because we have a little bit more to go we almost have three quarters done so now I'm just getting to my little area here and I'm gonna continue threshing so I'm just gonna lower the implement start process and there we go so we're almost done, I think one side to the end, and then one way back, and I think we will be done. And our implement won't be full. I mean, our combine won't um, get full, I believe, so yeah, we'll be fine. We just have to empty it, and then our tutorial will be done. And then we'll see what we have. I think our baler is next, I'm not sure. I can leave that on, it doesn't really do anything. To, to leave it on. Uh, don't really do any harm. So there we go. We are finishing up. And that is harvesting. And it's essential because when you put this in the trailer, then you drive the trailer to a drop-off point. And that drop-off point will give you money. 
So you'll get money from what you just thrashed. So this canola, you get money from that. So that's your work. And you're done. Good. Okay, cultivating. Yeah, so cultivating I mentioned I'm not going to do because it's almost exactly, if not the same, as plowing. So I explained that. I believe in the sowing. Um, but I'm just going to skip that uh, because it's fairly the same. There's really no difference. Let's go to Baylor here and show you what that is like. I think bailing is one of the most fun things you can do in this game. I don't know why. It's just so much fun. Um, so what you do here is if you have wheat or barley, okay, you're going to harvest like we just did, but straw gets left over. And if you see here in the center, it says follow the windrows so the baler can gather the straw and press it into bales. For the purpose of this tutorial, the, barrel, the baler has been sped up. In the career mode, it does not work quite as fast. So I need 12 bales. So these bales are made. Basically, it compacts the straw so that it makes it into bales. And I want to zoom out so you can see the bales coming out. So I'm just going to turn on the baler, and it's working now. Okay, as you can kind of hear it. Okay. And I'm just going to press 1 and start driving. And what it does, it's going to collect it in this machine. As you can see how far it's, how fast it's being collected on the right side. And what it does, when it gets all the way to 100%, you can see a bale coming out. And that bale later, you're going to see how we collect that. And that can later be sold for money, which is good. That's what we need. Um, it's extra money. So nothing goes to waste. The straw is basically sold. And you can see, oh, there it is. It's coming out. What's nice about the square baler in this game is that it's continuous. So it'll spit that bale out, basically. And I can continue collecting, if that makes sense. So you're going to see it right now. I'm still collecting, right? And it's making another one. You see that already? And it just spit it out right there and it's on the field so I can just continue going it's not collecting anymore unless I go on top of one of these rows and it continues so you see the, the, the bales continue to come out there and they'll just drop onto the ground which is great um, I think I can even press 2 because that's faster speed and it'll be fine there we go, so it's double timing now. And it's really, really, really fast now. <laughs> so again, I have to make 12 of these, so we're at 33%. And now how do you collect these bales? Well, there's one way where you can collect them, and it's, um, what you can actually do is use, like, an agri-vector, I think it is called, and it's like a forklift type thing. And you just spike the bales, you know, with like a pitchfork type thing, and you lift it on a trailer, and you bring it to the barn where you can actually sell these. You make some money. Not tons of money, but you make, you know, money from, basically this is the waste that comes from um, the wheat and or barley. So it's, it's pretty good. And it's efficient. But then there's a machine that actually, it's kind of an auto bale stacker and what it'll do you just drive up to the bale you'll see that in the next tutorial and it's pretty fun because it just stacks them automatically and it drops them off automatically oh, I missed a little bit it's okay. and so it's awesome it's a great little tool to have and it does cost I think around a hundred thousand it's expensive but it's worth it if you get it so let's see here I'm almost done I'm at 91% and I love it because it's continuous, so you just keep driving and you basically don't stop till you're done. And there, I'm done. And you see all the bales get left there, and we'll pick them up now. With the bale transport. It's an automatic bale loader. It makes transporting and stacking bales a lot easier. In this tutorial, we'll need to load 18 straw bales and transport them to your farm. So attach the bale loader and lower the loading platform into operating position. Collect the bales in the field by approaching them as shown on the picture to the left. Once you've collected 18 bales, drive to your farm. It's located next to the field and unload them in the paved square. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to get... So these are the bales that we've done. Um, they have actually completed more. So I'm going to attach it. 
and now you just press B. It's really simple. That little thing comes out, and that's it. That's all I have to do. Now I just maybe press 1, slow speed, and I have to position the bale right on the white area that just came out. So basically there. And look, automatically, I'm not doing anything, it'll stack it like that. So I just have to do this to 18. So there we go, we have 2. And it's pretty cool. There's a real machine in real life like this, which is awesome to know. So there we go. And it stacks them. I think that's pretty cool. Like, how can you not have fun doing this? So I'm actually just pressing W here. I'm like using my own speed. So I'm kind of speeding up and slowing down. You just gotta make sure to position it correctly. There we go. And usually, if you do this in rows, you'll be fine. You know, because it'll it'll leave them in a certain configuration. There we go. And if you don't know how many bales you've had, it's easy because it tells you on the right side. I'm at eight bales now, so I have eight bales in the trailer. Oh, I missed that one. <laughs> if you go too fast, you miss it. There we go. And you can just back up and he grabs it, which is not too realistic, but hey, it works. So we're at half. Okay, we're going to get 18. So, so when you get to the bale, you just slow down just a little bit to give the thing time to collect it. There we go. Not super slow down, but you just make sure you don't want to go at full speed. You know? So I'm at 11. I'm almost done. This is a quick tutorial, but it's really cool. Because now I'm going to show you how to drop them off after I collect all of them. So that's going to be really fun. Okay. We've got 13. Good. Yeah. Oh, I missed that one. I'm just stacking up. Really nice. Really nice. Good. And I like how you can see the mechanics working in the game, you know, like, it'll collect it, it'll be pushed on rollers, and then it'll, you know, it'll dump it. So only have two more to go. And here's the first one, and one more. We can leave the others here. So to transport, it would be recommended to just press B, and that little glove or that little catcher will come back and now you can safely transport your bales. I have 18 bales, which is pretty good. Now I just go to my barn and I'm going to show you how to unload them. It's a pretty cool, neat trick and remember there is a real machine. All these machines are based off of real machines. So, so what you want to do, you want to get in that area where, this, where the straw is. So you want to back up. I'm not a expert in backing up, but I can work my way around it. Okay. I'm getting better at it. Okay, and there you go. So, I don't want to get too far back in there, but I think this is about good. So, I'm, I want, want you to get a good view of this. Press O. So, this will do everything automatically. Very fun see that being done tilts everything up really cool stacks them really high and that's it so it's cool because you can unload the bales with O or press X and you abort it so it'll go back to normal so I'm gonna really unload them so I'm gonna press O and that's it so you just move forward kinda slowly and then you press O and then you lower the platform but it's really simple it tells you what to do alright Let's see, chopping corn. Let's do that. Um, I think I'm going to do these in a separate video. Um, so I can do two tutorial videos because I think this video is kind of long enough. So I thank you guys for watching. And in the next video, we're just going to finish up these tutorials. It's going to be shorter than this one. I'm just going to do some chopping corn. We're going to look at how to plant potatoes, which is really cool and fun. And then how to harvest the potatoes. And the sweet uh, peas are... I think they're called sweet peas. Um, the, it's very similar process. So we'll do that in the next video. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back soon.